morning, Year Six. Good morning, Oh, glad to see our teachers are nice and wide awake. Welcome, children and teachers, and welcome to the children online. So this morning we're going to have possibly a bit longer assembly than normal. So sorry, Mr. Mafia, I know you've got key stage singing afterwards, but we'll get through it as quickly as we can. Right, so on Wednesday next week, there's lots of world days. Next Wednesday is World Wildlife Day. Do you know what's happening on Thursday next week? Book day. Book day. The following week is Science Week. Not that we're going to go all out on science. Um, I know Mrs. Hume's going to do an assembly, and I know that you do a lot of science, and uh, there might be an extra focus in Science Week. But on Wednesday next week, it's World Wildlife Day. And it's been pretty much one year since you planted the trees on the field. So lots of you planted trees on the field. How many of you planted a tree on the field last year? Okay, hands down. Hand up if you've been to see that tree since last year. One or two people. Okay, so hopefully at some point over the next week your teachers will take you out. Or maybe if you speak nicely to uh, Mr. Gonway, you can run around the trees. Did you not see it when you've been out on the field? He hasn't made you do cross country, clearly. Okay, so World Wildlife Day uh, is on Wednesday. And uh, it's quite interesting because there's a bit more of a focus on plants and trees. Uh, World Wildlife Day is an annual event organized to celebrate and raise awareness of the world's wild animals and plants. And this year's theme is Forests and Livelihoods Sustaining People and Planet. And I think you have a good idea of why we need to look after our planet. Anybody know why we need to take care of our planet and stop chopping down so many trees? Cody? Trees give us oxygen. Okay. And what would happen if we didn't have oxygen? We'll die. Yes, we would. We wouldn't be able to. And there's only just one Earth, so you have to take care of it and we'll a lot of the other one Absolutely. Okay, so you'll find that um, this is World Life Theme Day it celebrates the forests and woodlands that cover nearly a third of the planet. But if we don't look after our planet and we cut down lots of trees and we don't plant anymore, then we're not going to have anything left, are we? I think you really know all this. And you know that our trees are under threat. What's that big word they use? Somebody different. Oh. Deforestation. Deforestation. Anybody tell me a little bit about deforestation? Anybody want to have a go? Keegan. Deforestation is when all the trees are cut down. Okay. Anybody else want to add to that? Cody? Yes, they don't plant anything else in its place. Now, Baobab, you'll see that we haven't actually cut any trees down. When we build, we actually build around the trees as much as we can. You'll see some of the roofs, especially the one at the canteen, you can see the actual tree. They didn't cut it down. We used to sit last term, remember? Okay, so they've actually built the building around the tree. And in two, uh, 2019, there was about 30 football fields cut down of trees, and that's every single minute. 30 football fields, that's bigger than this area that we have at Bayabout, pretty much, on the field. 
So those are some pictures of last year, any of you that were there. I know there was also netball matches that day, so some of you were busy playing Mar uh, at Martin House. And um, I know it's not easy to see, but uh, those are the little holes that were actually dug for everyone to build and put their tree inside. So it'd be interesting to go and have a look, yes? Yeah. And then again next year when you're in secondary school. Right, let's move on to our merits. So we have three merits this week, but one of the things that we haven't done, because we've not been together, is give out our house captain badges, have we? Okay, so let's get those out, shall we? And with our house captains, I have just sanitized my hands. Would you like to come to the front and let me call your names out? I know um, Kiara is online, so Kiara, that's your badge waiting for you when you come back to school. And to Kazin, is Kazin here today? Yeah, Kazin, would you like to come to the front? Oh, I should have seen you in green. Can we give Kazin a big hand while he sanitizes her? Okay. Excellent. If you stand over there for a minute, because I might need you. And then our Hawkhouse captains, Ane and Devet, would you like to come to the front, please? Let's give them a big hand. Virtually shake hands. There you go. And you can collect your badges. Would so you like to go this side, children? And then Michelle and Ahmed. <laughs> oh, we need to shake, shake hands again. Yep. Good job. All right. Now let's get the glasses on. So I think you might be able to help me. This is a, is this for your house? Okay. Which house is that? Um, yeah, do you know your house is? Which house is this? Let me know. I think so. Is it Eagle? I mean, um, I think it's probably you've got it on the back, silly me. Yeah. Right, so brilliant. Everybody has got something to hand out. Okay. Okay, and now, would you like to go first and read the first merit for Hawk? This merit is presented to Zaina Yusuf for a great improvement in the rhythm. Well done, Zaina. Just sanitize your hands, my sweetheart, okay? All right, Ahmed. This certificate presented to Anna Malek for oh, great improvement in maths. online and now you've got them physically have you yes okay thank you house captains and let's just see which the winning house is this week do you think it's hawk do you think it's eagle or do you think it's falcon eagle. Hmm? Hawk. Eagle. Hawk. Hmm, let's have a look are you ready yes. are you steady yes. and Good. Yeah. Eagle, come on. Well done, Eagle. 
Next time you're in an assembly, I will give you some more totals of house points. Uh, but in second place at the moment is Falcon, and in third place is Hawk. But it's very close. All right. So well done, Eagle. Would you like to sit down, house captains? And thank you. Thank you. Thank You're going to start having a bit more responsibility next week. I'm, I'm going to be giving you a timetable. And um, with the timetable, I'm going to invite some monitors to help. This is Bailey and Mrs. Bortle. Would you mind helping me here? Because I think you should read out the monitors. And they can collect their badges. And... Um, from here. So remember to sanitize your hands, children, and then collect your badge. <coughs> and then maybe they can virtually handshake. Would that be okay? Can, can, can you see the... Um, yes. The right, the first girl monitor... monitor please help me because I don't need my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, do you want to borrow mine? I'll borrow you. <laughs> so I have sanitized. The first girl monitor is Fatima! Done. <laughs> Take your badge. The second, come stand over here so we can see. The second girl monitor, Lily. The next girl monitor is Mumba. The last girl monitor for this period of time is Ethel. <laughs> well done, girl. Right, and we go to the girls. Oh, the, no. the boys. <laughs> the first one is Yifan. Next we have Amat Hamir. Oh. And the next one is Kamogelo. Virtual handshake. And we have Obed. And the last one for this part of the term is going to be George. Well done, monitors. Right, so classes next week. Okay, so I'll talk to you at some point on Monday, if that's all right, children. Yeah. I think we've got a busy day today. So well done, everyone. Sit down and thank you. Thank you. Right, reading awards. Sorry, Mrs. Bortle, would you like to... Um, um, award the, the reading awards and um, we've got three in year six this week right the first one goes to that's a star reader awards number three goes to kiara kiara online well done we will keep all your certificates for you and your badge and when you are back in zambia you will get it okay <laughs> A Super Reader 2 award is for Sinead. Well done, Sinead. And the Super Reader 5 award is for Anne. And a virtual handshake. Well done. <laughs> okay. Right, there are also some, there's also uh, some rock star certificates. And the first one here is for becoming a rock star by achieving a rock speed of 2.63 seconds is on the 24th of February 
is Ahmed Matwali. Well done. Yep, you can take that. Then we have the next one, and I will show it because she's online. Lucy Waddle. Well done. And we have uh, becoming a rock. Oh, that Ali, uh, Lucy was a headliner and the rock legend of achieving a rock speed of 1.99 seconds is under two seconds for each sum that goes to Ali Malek and the last one a rock legend with a rock speed of 1.77 seconds getting quicker all the time, and that one goes to Michelle. Well done. Good girl. There's yours. Okay. And a round of applause for these rock stars. Right, you can, you can reach this as well by practicing. So keep practicing your time stable rock stars, and you will be here as well. And keep practicing your reading, then you're here next. Okay. Well done, girls and boys. Thank you, Mrs. Gorthel. Are they, are you still quicker than them, though? Sorry? Are you still quicker than the children in, in the uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to challenge them at I have some to point. I have to practice myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well done, children. Fantastic work. And I think we've got... Um, End of February, already going into March. There must have been some birthdays in January and February. I know that the... Lucy had a birthday yesterday, but she was online. She had a nice birthday, Lucy. And Anybody else? Come to the front, tell us your name, your age, and when your birthday was, January or February. Over to you, Mr. Mafia. <clears throat> about them in the next few weeks. All right, so thank you for joining us for assembly today, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the day and have a lovely weekend.